Okay, this is 11.8 resistors in circuits. So we just learned about resistors in the last lesson. And what we're looking at now is an idea called equivalent resistance. If I have a bunch of resistors in my circuit, it's nice to be able to sort of look at them all and sort of sum them up, add them all together so that it acts like it's just a single resistor for, for my math, for my equations. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Equivalent resistance, this is the total resistance of a group of resistors. So you take all your resistors, group them together and say how much resistance do they act like in total. And it's neat because we can do this. We can, we can sort of take them all and just pretend like they're a single resistor. And it's different for series and parallel. So we'll look at series first. And you might remember that the voltage for a series connection, V series is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. If you've got a series circuit. Well, we can take that equation. And remember, V equals IR. So now we have I series R series. I'll just use S for series now. I series R series is equal to, well, V1, which is I1 R1, plus V2, which is I2 R2, plus V3, which is I3 R3. So if I want to get some value for my, um, for my series resistance, well, I can sort of group some terms here. We've got I series, R series is going to be, so you know, I1, I2, and I3, they're all the same. Right? I1 equals I2 equals equals the series current. So here I've got ISR1 plus ISR2 plus ISR3. So we have the series current times R1 plus R2 plus R3. So we're able to sort of summarize that. So you can see that R series has to be R1 plus R2 plus R3. So when we've got resistors in series, Oops, resistors in series, they just add together like this. So what we had above was uh, a sort of a derivation. This is the result. When you have a bunch of series all connected, um, uh, sorry, resistors connected in series, you can just add up the values. So we've got an example here. Four resistors are connected in series in a circuit. The resistances are as follows, R1, R2, R3, and R4. Calculate the equivalent resistance. Well, we've got Rs is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4. So the equivalent resistance here is going to be 41 plus 51.75 plus 11.1 plus 102.008. And that gives us 206 ohms. fairly straightforward with this with the series resistors. Parallel is a bit trickier. We use the same idea except now we're going to use Kirchhoff's current law. I parallel is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. And if I just rearrange this, we've got V equals IR if I rearrange I to, s um, to solve for I, sorry, I is equal to V over R. So I can do this here. I can say that the V parallel over R parallel, that's equal to my I parallel, this equals V1 over R1 plus V2 over R2 plus V3 over R3. 
And remember, v1 equals v2 equals v3 equals my parallel voltage. So I can summarize this v1, v2, v3. They're all just v parallel. So I get v parallel equal over r parallel is equal to v parallel times 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3. So you can see that to add these resistances together, we need to take their reciprocals or, or do 1 divided by them. So this leaves us an equation here, 1 over r parallel is equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2. like this. And if you want to rearrange that to solve for r parallel instead of 1 over it, actually I'm just going to call this rp, it's equal to 1 over 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2, like this. There we go. So that one is a bit trickier, the math, but it's as long as you remember the how to use it, then you should be fine. So we've got here three resistors are connected in parallel in a circuit. The resistors, resistances are as follows, R1, R2, and R3. Calculate the equivalent resist resistance. So just to draw a quick picture of what's going on here, we've got a parallel circuit with R1, R2, and R3. So we want to find the equivalent resistance if I was to sum up those resistors all together. So we get here 1 over Rp is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. That's 1 over 15 plus 1 over 12, plus 1 over 10. And you could just put, put this in your calculator. I will do it the old-fashioned way. So this gives us 4 over 60. I'm getting the common denominator here. 4 over 60 plus um, 5 over 60, plus 6 over 60. 60 was the common denominator. So this gives us... 15 over 60, which is equal to 1 quarter. So remember that was 1 over Rp. So therefore, our total parallel resistance is equal to 4 ohms. There we go. Okay, we will try one problem involving mixed circuits here on the next page, and then we're done. So we want to calculate the equivalent resistance for the circuit shown. We want to summarize this whole circuit and just say this is the same as a single resistor with this much resistance. That's the idea. That's what we're doing here. So first off, we need to take our three resistors here and we need to get our parallel resistance. That's the first step here. And generally, it's always easiest to start with their parallel circuits and combine them down so that they're acting like a single resistor. So we have our equation 1 over Rp, in this case is equal to 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4. And I said 2, 3, 4 because those are our resistor resistors in that parallel circuit, 2, 3, and 4. Alright, and so I'll plug in the values here, 1 over 45 plus 1 over 50, plus 1 over 30. And that gives us 0 0.067. RP is equal to 
15 ohms. So we've got over here, I can fill this in, RP is equal to 15 ohms. And now we want to get our total resistance, RT. I'm just using RT for total here. Um, we can now treat that RP as a single resistor in our series circuit. So now we basically have a series circuit. So it's going to be R1 plus RP plus R5. This gives us 12 ohms plus 15 ohms plus 18 ohms, which is 45 ohms total. There you go. That's how we're dealing with this. Um, it's very, very useful to be able to um, combine these resistors this way. So please practice it. Give it a try. See how you do.